Based on all of the leaks and speculations so far, the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra appears to be the most powerful phone of early 2022, if not the whole year. The Galaxy S22 Ultra will be unveiled during the year's first Galaxy Unpack 2022 event, which has been rescheduled for February 9th. Before we get started, please like the video if you're a Samsung user, let me know in the comments what you expect to see in this coming smartphone, and if you haven't subscribed already then hit subscribe button now, so you don't miss a thing in the future. So, rumors point to the Ultra as the spiritual successor to the Galaxy Note line, which means a Galaxy Note-like design along with an integrated S Pen. And the Galaxy S22 Ultra is rumored to offer a number of other exclusive features. As we have rightly predicted on this channel, Samsung plans to hold a Galaxy Unpacked event on February 9th, with the show getting underway at 10 a.m. Eastern Time 7 a.m. Pacific Time. Pre-orders may begin on February 9th, with the Galaxy S22 rumored to be released on February 25th. However, according to a South Korean claim quoting Samsung sources, the phone will be available on February 24th. Regardless who is correct, the Galaxy S22 Ultra will undoubtedly be in users' hands before the end of March. For the rumored price. We had hoped that the Galaxy S22 Ultra will be priced similarly to the Galaxy S21 Ultra, $1,199. However, one new report suggests that all three Galaxy S22 versions might see a $100 price increase. Another rumor stated that the Galaxy S22 Ultra will cost €1,249 for the 8GB or 128GB model, €1,349 for the 12GB or 256GB model, and €1,449 for the top-end 12GB or 512GB model. And for the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra design. The Galaxy S22 Ultra looks likely to stand out from the rest of the Galaxy S22 series, with rumors suggesting it will drop the rounded shape of its predecessors in favor of a blockier and flatter Note-like design. And in keeping with the Note DNA, the Galaxy S22 Ultra is set to have an S Pen holder, which will be a notable upgrade over the S21 Ultra. Another major change that seems very likely is that Samsung won't use a protruding module for its rear camera array. Rather, the cameras will be integrated into its chassis in a P-shape. The leaker Evan Blass has posted renders of the Galaxy S22 colors, including the Galaxy S22 Ultra. These include black, white, green and red. For the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra display, the Galaxy S22 is expected to have a 6.81-inch AMOLED display, which is the same size as the Galaxy S21 Ultra. However, the panel could be a bit wider in order to better accommodate S Pen input. A punch hole cutout for the front-facing camera has been shown off in renders and leaked images, likely down to Samsung having yet to perfect the under-display camera for use in its non-folding Galaxy phones. A 120Hz LTPO panel is also expected, following on from the one found in the S21 Ultra. It's also expected to be adaptive, scaling all the way down to 1Hz when a high refresh rate isn't needed. One standout feature could be peak brightness, with the Galaxy S22 Ultra's display tipped to hit a maximum of 1,750 nits. If true, this would beat every other phone on the market, including the iPhone 13 Pro Maximum. And for the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra cameras, the Galaxy S22 Ultra's cameras appear to have the same megapixel counts as the Galaxy S21 Ultra's based on speculated specs alone. If that's the case, the phone will include a 108MP primary camera, two 10MP telephoto sensors with 3x and 10 optical zoom, and a 12MP ultra-wide camera. However, apart from megapixels, these cameras are expected to feature enhanced sensors and capabilities, including an AI enhancement option for the 108MP camera, which might result in increased clarity and brightness in its images. The selfie camera is expected to come in at 40MP. Again, no step up in specs here, but we can be fairly confident that Samsung will have made some effort to improve the computational photography capabilities across the S22 Ultra's entire camera suite. For the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra specs, in the US and China, the Galaxy S22 Ultra has been tipped to use Qualcomm's new Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. That chip has a new Creo CPU that offers 20% faster performance than the Snapdragon 888 and which sucks up 30% less power. 
On the GPU side, Qualcomm says the Adreno processor will offer a 30% speed boost while being 25% more efficient than its predecessor. But in the UK and other regions the Galaxy S22 Ultra is expected to have the newly revealed Exynos 2200. Usually considered weaker than their Snapdragon counterparts in third-party testing, early Geekbench 5 results show the Exynos 2200 beat the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 in multicore results. And the Exynos 2200 chip could buck the performance trend even further thanks to its new Eclipse 920 GPU. This graphics processor uses AMD's RDNA 2 GPU architecture, which is the same tech that underpins the GPUs in the PS5 and Xbox Series X. As for RAM and storage, the leaks thus far have the Galaxy S22 Ultra pegged to have 12GB and 16GB of RAM and 256GB and 512GB of storage. Would not be surprised if the Galaxy S22 Ultra comes with a 1TB version as well for power users, especially as there's been no mention of expandable storage. And for the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra battery and charging. Samsung's Galaxy S22 Ultra is expected to keep the 5000 mAh size of its predecessor. But one report has the phone set to get a smaller battery measuring in at 4855 mAh. If this is the case, then we'd suspect Samsung will have worked hard on battery and performance efficiency in order to not see overall battery life compromised. The most recent report we've seen says that the Galaxy S22 Ultra will offer faster 45W charging. This would be a boost from the 25W charging on the S21 Ultra. We don't know how quickly you'll get to 50% or 100% as a result, but we look forward to testing it. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. See you in my next video.